All right, for this part, you want to be very steady with your hand. Set it in the hole. Tap in the hole right there. And get the positioning of the tap, the angle that you're going to need it at for the finished product. And then we will start to tap. As such, just go slowly, trying to keep it steady as possible. Remember, this is plastic, so it's going to be a little easier to work with than metal would be. Keep in mind, you don't have to push very hard either, so. And you're only gonna go up to the bottom of the black tape. That DSX is already placed on there. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna end mine right there. Take off my ratchet. I almost didn't need that ratchet. Almost. This is pretty good. All right. Right there, it gets into the tape right there. So now I'm going to back it out. All right, there we go. All right, there's your your threads all right now we'll get this uh, cleaned out here run us a rag up in here carefully not to push the stuff in but to pull it out all right all right once you got your threads clean up in your tank there you just take your fitting and do a little test carefully don't force it start it in the threads that you just made at the correct angle that you did it at and it'll go easily as such and it shows that it's working perfectly so now that's confirmed Pull it back out and we'll put our sealant on the threads <laughs> and take your little tube here pop top and we're gonna squeeze make sure your threads are clean <laughs> blow on them perfectly clean and let's put some of this stuff on here like so that should be sufficient now let's take and work it in to the threads like so wipe my hands off my rag. So now we're covered good. Good coverage. And we're gonna run it right back in like we just did. Carefully, just like before. Follow your same angle that you did drilling and tapping. Just keep turning it in. We're gonna go in about 80% of the threads. Which I didn't count them, but it looked like about a dozen threads. So we'll go in until we get about two threads left. 
two or three threads left. It says till it starts to get tight or 80% of the threads. Mine started to get tight right there. That's about 80%. I'm gonna wipe off this excess so I can get a good look at my threads. All right, now I can see. Get you a flashlight if you need to, to take a good look at the threads. I'm showing about four threads on top, so I'm gonna go in one more revolution. Maybe two more. Oh yeah, looks real good. I'm gonna go one more time. One more time. Yeah. Uh, right there. Alright, that's where I'm gonna go, right there. I got a couple of threads left showing. And it firmed up pretty good. I'm gonna get my angle right for my fitting. Nice relaxed hose. It's in its normal state. It wants to stay in that position. And it does, it looks really good right there. So I'm gonna put mine up right here. Now you can use Teflon tape on these threads if you want to. However you prefer. And get it started here. it now carefully put your wrench here and wrench here and carefully tighten it up without moving that fitting very much at all if possible which is what I'm gonna do now and then we'll let it set up man it's done doesn't take long for it to set up either so now after you got it tight taking Squeeze some more of that sealant all the way around and then just rub it in with your finger. Don't worry about making a mess, it wipes right off of the rag. But yeah, just force it down in there. This will help you get a good seal once it's set up. Just force it in there real good. All in them threads. All right, that should be good. Now take a rag. And we'll wipe off the excess a nice clean look. is it my friends that is it there we go all right that's it